So good morning. <clears throat> oh, good morning. That's a sound in my phone ringing. <laughs> good morning. Good morning to the moon. Good morning to the rising sun. Good morning to the ring of power and to all the ones who are sitting at their power places in the morning to connect with life. And for me it's always a gift to first connect with the universe, to connect with the inner center and from there meet people and feeling already the spirit of, of unity which connects all of us. And we were this morning with the question uh, what is the contribution of the plant medicine to build a new culture? And I think it's a deep question for a lot of meditation is needed to, to meet the point. But I feel it's important to, to look to this. And when we are standing here in the stone circle of Tamara and every stone is standing for a certain aspect, and it's uh, a symbol of a peace community where the, it's in a way the message, if you find your place in the community, you are a contribution towards a peace culture. And in such a culture, it was natural in a community that there is one archetype taking care for the plant medicine. And so it's very natural that I feel it's very connected, the spirit of plant medicine and the spirit of tribal wisdom, of community. And it was never a private question whether I take medicine or not. It was always connected to a, a shaman or a caretaker for the altar where you relate to and you feel the invitation, yes, now it's time. It's like an initiation and I want to bring the awareness to that in indigenous cultures it was very natural to use medicine and they used the medicine in a way to call the spirit. And isn't it a miracle that you take a little drug, whatever it will be, and it changes your whole consciousness. What is spirit? How is it possible that taking a little plant changes your whole consciousness? And I think it brings us to the awareness that uh, our thinking is normally very conditioned and we are not aware that we are thinking in certain patterns. And taking a medicine with consciousness opens the patterns and opens a channel to a brighter awareness of the beingness of the world and I think uh, healing medicine will always open the channel of unity and it will always support that a certain consciousness comes to you in, the, in a way of awareness. So I feel medicine is always connected with a good teacher who can hold the space. It's very connected with the community feeling. It's very connected with the singing and opening the awareness and I feel if you feel a freedom and your freedom is dependent on the spirit of a medicine then there is a mistake so I feel the medicine is always giving you a gift you go there with a certain question and then you receive an answer from the spirit of the world and I think afterwards you have to work with the answer. Did you understand what you received also without any medicine? So this is for me a very important criteria whether you take it as consuming or whether you really take it as a teacher. I think every plant has a soul and we can come in contact with the soul of this plant and they can teach us a lot of new things. Yes, and in this uh, way, I think it's important that the community asks, what is our teacher, what is our medicine, and how do we celebrate and connect to it in a healing way? And Tamara is in a challenge to figure this out in a really new way. And I 
Myself, I had experiences. For example, I was in the jungle. I was together with shamans who are offering ayahuasca medicine. And I know how deep these experiences are. I am working still with experiences I had years ago. And so I feel it's a real gift and we should uh, be very careful and very conscious how we take it, when we take it, and that it's always guided by a good and knowing person. If not, there is also a danger. And we know how many people are dying because of misuse of drugs. And so let us come to this awareness. It's not a personal, private question. And uh, let us create the families who will become aware of the unification which this plant medicine carries as a wisdom. Yeah, have a blessed week.